What's going on guys? This is United WWE coming at you another video. Today we're going to be talking about Sting and how he is possibly retiring from in-ring competition. Yes, you heard me right guys. The icon Sting, it looks like his career is over. He's done uh, performing in the ring. We probably won't see him perform any more matches, which is very sad to say. But uh, before we get into this video guys, I just want to apologize for not uploading over the last two to three weeks. I have been extremely busy in my new role in work and um, yeah the workload has been pretty hectic but uh, I'm just bringing this news to you today I uh, hopefully to get back to uploading more regularly very soon but uh, I thought I'd just come on here today St. Patrick's Day I uh, have the day off work and I just thought uh, yeah I'd make this video to talk about Sting uh, he's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time um, I'm absolutely devastated to hear this news this morning guys I know after Night of Champions uh, he suffered a very bad neck injury you know that was um, it wasn't really um, as a result of that match, it was kind of a lot of nagging injuries coming back just to haunt him uh, with that one move, the power bomb into the turnbuckle. You know, it just all came back and um, I was reading this morning, TMZ was actually the first ones to break the story. They said that uh, he actually has the same injury that Edge picked up in 2011. You know, um, just as a result of Edge picking up uh, loads of neck injuries too. It's just a, it's just a build up and I guess it's just wear and tear taking its toll. And uh, once he took that power bomb into the turnbuckle, you know something just went again. He's after damaging his neck even more, just like Edge did back in 2011. And it looks like Edge, uh, you know, this causes nerve damage. Of course, uh, if you hurt your neck anywhere around there, you know, it's so easy just to paralyze yourself. And um, you know, Sting and Edge, you know, they're doing the right thing, just like Daniel Bryan did as well. You know, they're getting out before they cause any more nerve damage, any more, um, you know, anything that could potentially paralyze them. You know, that's the last thing you want to see. You know, uh, we had a very sad size back in um, the Attitude Era where uh, Draws, if any of you know Draws, you know, he took him, um, I think it was D'Lo Brown gave him, um, I think it might have been, um, I think it might have been something as simple as a suplex or a pod or something like that. But, uh, you know, Draws till this day is in a wheelchair, you know, paralysed from the neck down and it's just so sad to see that and we, d we just don't want to see that guys. Of course, um, the medical uh, side of the wrestling has really come on over the last couple of years. You know, the athletes are taken care of so, so well. And um, I'm just happy that Sting, as I said, guys, he's one of my favourite all time. I'm just happy he's getting out. He's not. He's 56 years old. There's no need for him to continue. He has nothing to prove. You know, get out while you can. Don't damage yourself anymore. Cause as fans, we want to see him around for years to come. You know, have a different role on TV, maybe, maybe a GM, something like that. Um, you know, he doesn't have to be in the ring to be still be Sting, you know what I mean? Of course, it would be great to see him wrestle again. People always talk about how they want to see Undertaker versus Sting, but I would never want to put an athlete's, uh, a superstar's health at risk, you know? Get out while you can, guys. Just like Edge and Daniel Bryan have, they made a smart move, the correct move. They're living their lives, and I want to see Sting do that as well. I'm sure he has plenty to do, you know, outside of wrestling, and just enjoy your life, Sting. Thank you so much for uh, all the good matches, all the good times. So I'm just sitting here thinking of back in WCW days as a kid, seeing Sting, you know, he always just stood out as just a phenomenal character. And um, you know, the face paint, just his persona. You know, he was such a phenomenal baby face. You know, everyone just loves Sting. He always stood up to the NWO. You know, he was the only guy probably in WCW that never actually joined uh, the NWO. He always uh, fought his cause. And when uh, in that, I think it was 96 or 97 where you know, he just haunted the NWO for months. You know, he kept appearing up in the rafters, stuff like that. JJ Dillon would always be in the ring. You know, he'd be calling out Sting. He'd be wanting answers off Sting. And eventually Sting came down and told JJ Dillon that he wanted Hulk Hogan. And the fans went absolutely nuts. And that was a hell of a moment. But uh, yeah, Sting always did well to keep his character fresh. Even looking in TNA, you know, he did the whole um, the Joker gimmick. I thought that was actually really good. People slated that a lot, but I thought it looked class. He did really well, and thank God he made that move to WWE. You know, um, I'll always be. Uh, I don't know. Uh, people always talk about how Triple H should have put him over. You know, but uh, I just. I was just so thankful for that match. Believe it or not, guys, people shit on that match too, Triple H and Sting, but that was probably my favourite match that night at WrestleMania because 
just how it was all done. I know like people are disappointed they kind of did the whole WWE versus WCW thing, but I thought it was great. You know, having Hogan, the NWO, Nash, Scott Hall, X Pac, you know, Shawn Michaels, Billy Gunn, all that. I was just I thought it was well done, and uh, of course I was disappointed Sting didn't win in the end, but it was a hell of a match and a hell of a moment for Sting, and like that's all he ever wanted to do. Uh, at the end of at that point in his career, he wanted to be at WrestleMania and he wanted to be in a big match, and that's what he that's where he was. You know, like. Let's be honest, Vince was never going to put over a WCW guy, um, especially against someone like Triple H. Now, um, I don't think Sting minds. You know, he just wanted to be at WrestleMania and say that he did that. He was at WrestleMania, he performed, and I'm just glad he got that opportunity before this neck injury got any more serious. Any other wrestlers you ever hear talk about Sting, you know, they always talk about how he's such a standout guy. You know, he kind of keeps to himself, but he's respectful. He's a good, kind-hearted guy, and you could just really see that in the WWE documentary they did with Sting when he was joining WWE. You could just tell he was so uh, respectful and just uh, gracious for the opportunity he was being given to join the WWE. You know, I wouldn't even say he's been given it; he's earned it. You know, yeah, he, all the hard work he's done over the years, WCW, TNA, wrestling all over the world. You know, it culminated in a chance to join the WWE. He took it. Um, as I said, he earned it. And um, yeah, I'm just grateful. I know it could have it could have went out a little bit better in the WWE, but uh, I'll never forget when he debuted at the Survivor Series. That was a hell of a moment. I fucking went mental. Um, I think the whole arena that night went mental. But even nights after that, when he was showing up on Raw, facing you know Seth Rollins and stuff like that, um, the stare downs, all that great chances he had just to be himself again, be uh, who he was in WCW. Because I don't think TNA really took um, they never really took it. Um, they never took Sting as far as they could have went with him. Joe, you know, I know they always had to be cautious that they couldn't overuse him and stuff like that. But I always thought they could have done a lot more of Sting, and they really never took advantage of having such a legend like Sting in their company. And um, yeah, that's just TNA for you. But uh, I just want to get back to talk about the WWE Hall of Fame. Of course, Sting is going into it this year. And I just want to get the point across that he deserves to go into the WWE Hall of Fame because there's so many idiots out there, guys. They'll try so hard to make you believe, you know, he doesn't deserve this. Sting doesn't deserve to go into the WWE Hall of Fame. But fucking think about it, guys. WWE owns WCW now. They own everything got to do with WCW. Do you know, they bought them out back in 2001. And um, you know, does that mean someone like Sting, someone like you know, even Goldberg or so many other guys that made their livings, their legacies in... Uh, WCW they should just be forgotten about you know someone like Sting he has performed in WWE people are saying you know he's only been in WWE for two years he doesn't deserve to go into the Hall of Fame that's absolute bullshit guys this guy is a legend um, he deserves to have that one night where you know, the fans and his fellow peers you know, people can just thank him for what he's done you know, Sting has inspired so many I guarantee you if you went around the WWE locker room today and asked people you know, asked wrestlers who inspired you to become a performer who inspired you to want to get in that ring Sting would be in nearly almost everyone's top three probably because there's so many young guys on that roster you know, Sting has probably inspired and you know, this is just their chance everyone's chance the fans chance just to say thank you Sting for putting your body on the line for so many years for entertaining us for being different for being special and just being a uh, just always being entertaining you know and it's it just pisses me off because some people can be so like resentful and saying he doesn't deserve to go into the hall of fame he does deserve to go into the hall of fame end of story his wcw career um is enough you know wwe owns wcw now wcw is over but you know he does for that alone he should be going into the hall of fame never even mind what he's done in wwe you know for what he's done in wcw alone he's probably the biggest baby face in wcw he was the face of wcw he deserves to go into the hall of fame i was gonna try calm not calm down but just you now cut off the rant mode because i don't want to go into that too much so, too many people on twitter just piss me off sometimes but uh yeah Sting deserves to go into the Hall of Fame. Uh, it looks like he's retiring from in-ring competition. Very sad to say. He's one of my favourites of all time. But uh, yeah, I just want to say this. take this opportunity to say thank you Sting for all your great matches. and um, Everything you've done for us fans. And uh, hopefully you have a hell of a night at the Hall of Fame. And this isn't the end of Sting in WWE. Hopefully you get a new role or something like that. Maybe you know, something that sees him on TV more often or, or now and again. I really won't mind because I think Sting deserves it. And uh, yeah, thanks Sting, and uh, I'll see the rest of you down the road. Thanks for watching guys, peace.